So I recently just posted a post on my community tab on YouTube asking if people would like to see me make Roblox blocks fruit content. And a lot of people voted no, mainly because they didn't want to see me grind this game every single day for a video to get to the max level on this game, which is level 2450. But that wasn't what I was asking. I was asking if you guys wanted to see Roblox blocks fruit content, not grinding. Because what you guys didn't know that participated in that community post is that I am already level 2448 after 19 hours of straight grinding i am about to hit the max level in roblox blocks fruits after i defeat this last snow demon but before i go ahead and destroy this last snow demon i want to talk to you guys about my adventure in roblox blocks fruits so a few friends of mine have been telling me to get into blocks fruits for quite some time now and i know this game has been out for a couple years on roblox but if i'm going to give this game a shot i'm going to give it all of my attention for a couple days to max out and to really see what this game is all about so as i started the game i went ahead and i spawned in and i did what any sane person would do when they first start playing this game. I went ahead and I just started buying all of the game passes and double XP for 24 hours because I knew I'd be grinding this game for quite some time. I thought I'd even go over 24 hours, but thankfully I didn't. Neil, we'll get to that later on. But yeah, all these game passes give you quite a bit of stuff. They give you some boosts and things in the game that are really helpful. They give you better drop chances, better money, faster boats. You get more mastery XP. And the best thing out of all these has to be the Dark Blade because it's one of the best weapons you can actually get. And the also start off, I was told I should buy the Buddha fruit to actually begin grinding and to use this through my whole grinding session. That's what I went ahead and did and I bought the Buddha fruit and then after that I started my first quest of killing some bandits. Uh, sorry to my friends that I murdered but hey, I had to start killing these guys and then I approached my next island which was the monkey gorilla jungle island. Kind of got more used to the game and I started seeing how to level up my stats. Just started killing a bunch of these monkeys and these gorillas as you can see pretty much just got used to the first couple of islands and after about you know the first 20 minutes of me playing or only about 15 minutes of me playing actually i went ahead and i reached my first 50 levels in the game and at this point i was like wow this game's pretty easy i'm gonna get through this pretty quick i don't know what people are talking about why you know grinding takes so long i, I was i was definitely wrong man so as i kept grinding uh i got to level 100 in about the first 40 minutes of playing so about 20 minutes after i hit level 50 again i was feeling pretty good everything's seemed to be going pretty quickly. I also got hockey set up. Rectway helped me do that and get a couple of other things set up for my grind. I went to the first island by myself without using Rectway's teleport ability. I just kind of grinded here and got used to the game a little bit more by myself, trying to figure out where to go from here by myself without any extra help besides the little compass telling me where to go. And it was actually pretty simple. I was like, you know, I don't really need anyone to tell me what to do, bro. I got this. This is an easy, smooth grind. All you do is you just follow your compass. You get some kills, you you know, you get the next quest, you follow your compass again, go to the next quest, rinse and repeat over and over hundreds of times. However, I did realize that I was starting to find some difficulty. Even though I bought all the game passes, as you can see, I did die pretty early on on this island. I was able to fight the boss pretty easy and I killed him pretty quickly and I was already getting tons of level ups, but I was starting to feel the difficulty of the game. However, I didn't let that stop me and I kept grinding, bro. I got to the skylands, as you can see here. I was floating in the heavens, feeling good. I didn't really like the skylands because I did keep falling off since I wasn't completely used to the movement in this game yet. When I did knock some enemies off that got glitched, I would have to go down and kill them if they completely flew off the island. However, after the Skylands, I headed over to the prison. Now, I grinded in the prison, just the prisoners, till I got to 200, and then I grinded the tough prisoners, or whatever they were, till I got to 220. I eventually got to about level 230 or 240, and after that, I started killing the bosses. Now, there's a little bit of a strategy here where you can skip some grinding if you just kill kill all three bosses. You want to accept a quest for the warden, kill him. Then you want to accept the quest for the second warden, kill him. And then you want to accept the quest for Swan and kill him. And just keep doing this over and over again until you reach level 300. And I actually had Rectway and Mara here help me. And I got to level 300 pretty fast after just grinding these guys. I did die a few times, but that helped me skip a couple of different things I was supposed to kill and help me go straight to the Magma Island, which was actually one of my favorite islands on the first sea. And then once you get to the Magma Island, just grind here for a bit as well the magma guys I, I don't know why i just found this island pretty cool and i was enjoying my time bro the grinding didn't seem to be a drag yet i was actually still having a lot of fun just killing things killing bosses and going through everything pretty nice and easily so now we're about two and a half hours into grinding and as you can see here i'm level 498 i'm back to the skylands i'm fighting these shandas and then i was fighting like the thunder god and all these things like that and i still had no idea what was ahead of me bro but i knew that after two and a half hours i already hit level 500 so I was 
like, you know, if it only took me this long to get to the first 500 levels, it's only going to take me at least like eight more hours or so to actually max out on this game. And, and no, I was, I was very wrong, bro. Now I didn't actually get any footage of this. That was actually my first day of grinding. And after I got to 500, I did hit level 700 and I completed the first C and I got to the second C. And after that, my boy number skull actually helped carry me through the Buddha awakening. So I could keep grinding through the second C and the third C with the awakened Buddha. And after that, I went off to bed with aching arthritis in my hands and an awful migraine for staring at my monitor for hours. Now we're on to day two. As you can see, I'm level 703. I am on the second C and it was a nice day to begin grinding, boys. I was ready to get the grind on and to get past the second C. I was honestly thinking this day I was going to just get the rest of the grind done. Again, had no idea, had no idea what was ahead of me on the journey. And I started off by killing some raiders. That's the first quest you get on the second C. Still pretty easy. I was also upgrading my skills quite a bit so everything felt pretty easy and the grind was still pretty easy the only thing i was starting to notice is that it was starting to take quite some time after awakening the buddha to run from enemy to enemy and it was starting to slow my grind down quite a bit as you can see here when i started fighting jeremy his boss battle was actually quite a ways away from the actual quest giver and i had to run and hike up this mountain bro i was realizing how awful it was to actually travel without any of the fruits like the portal fruit or upgrading my human you know i was keeping that in mind and I told wrecked way and I was like bro is there anything I could do to upgrade my speed because this is awful like it takes me so long to run from the quest to the boss or the quest from the NPCs and you know my man wrecked way hooked me up bro and he showed me how to get human v2 which we did right here uh, all you had to do is collect some flowers which was pretty easy I'm sure most people that are watching this already know how to do this if you are a blocks fruits player so all you do is you collect the fruit there's one on that island you get another one from just killing NPCs I got it from the first NPC I killed and then you go to the mansion up here and then there's a third one just chilling right there and bam you go back to the alchemist he makes you a potion and then you get human v2 you can pretty much do this i'm pretty sure for any race after that my speed increased and i was feeling much better and ready to grind and continue grinding since i could actually walk faster than a turtle now so continuing on i did quite a lot of grinding and as you can see here once i reached undead island this was another one of my favorite islands just because all the npcs were pretty close together and they spawned in pretty quick so the grind on this island actually went pretty fast and i got this whole island completed in like 10 to 15 minutes minutes and I hit level 1000 so my first 1000 levels were officially done in blocks fruits at this rate I had spent as you can see there at the times 2 xp timer at the bottom left I spent about seven hours at this point to get to level 1000 seven hours of straight gameplay this doesn't even count me going afk and taking breaks bro this was just seven hours of straight gameplay so far I was feeling it bro I was starting to feel kind of desperate I was like wow if it took me seven hours that means I have another seven hours ahead to get to level 2000 and then probably another two to three hours after that just to get to max level and to also help my grind i started learning the spawns better of enemies i started actually paying attention to where enemies spawned and as you can see here whenever an enemy would spawn in i would kill them and i would take note of the order i killed them in and then after i killed the other enemies i would loop back around and the first enemy that i actually killed to start out with i would go back to that one because he would be the first one to spawn in i don't know if that makes any sense but i just started learning the spawn rates and the spawn times and locations of every enemy it kept a little note in my head of the order i killed them in now as you can see here this was the next thing i had to learn how to do which was fighting without buddha because up to, to this point the entire time i was fighting with buddha but once i got to the undead cursed ship there is no space to use buddha i cannot see anything on my camera if i used buddha so i had to start not using him when i got to here and helped me learn to actually fight without buddha which was a good step so i could start learning the other fruits once i do hit max so yeah i i had to learn to fight without buddha and also as you can see here I did have the hell torch so I was able to get the goal race after I got 100 ectoplasm so this was a lot of grinding this was another one of my favorite islands so after that bro I was still grinding I was grinding all day at this point it was from about noon when I started to around 7 p.m at this point maybe maybe a little earlier I can't even remember at this point there was just so much going on but as you can see it's about three hours after I hit level 1000 and I'm only at 1300 bro the grind was starting to slow down and I was just feeling so exhausted at this point, dude, I was starting to experience something called computer vision syndrome, which is also referred to as digital eye strain, which your eyes start hurting really bad. You start getting a headache. And I was also feeling like I was on autopilot at this point, dude. Like I was just playing this game for so long. I knew how to keep grinding because I had to hit max. I was dying mentally and I was dying physically. Another couple hours passed by. As you can see here, this is 11 or yeah, about 11 hours into my gameplay, like straight gameplay. And I was about to finally hit level 1500 with which lets you get to the third 
DLC, and I had to grind the Tidekeeper boss a couple times, but I finally did hit level 1500 so I could access the third C. Just like the second C, there's a quest to actually get to the second C. There's a quest to get to the third C as well, and I kind of already did this earlier with Rectway. He showed me what to do, but there was still a couple things I had to do, like giving this dude a 1 million valued fruit, which was like kind of a waste of a fruit, bro. You had to get it to Trevor. So he has a friend in his basement that he lets you talk to and get into a little brawl with after you give him a fruit for 1 million. At this point, this game wasn't making any sense to me, but it was cool still. You know, the fighting was still fun. The grinding was painful. I then went to this other place where there's just this admin guy who doesn't have like any part, I feel like, in this game, but he was here. You have to talk to him and help him out and fight another admin guy. So you start fighting this guy and eventually you don't kill him. It just activates this cutscene where him and his boys start going on a little brawl because the one guy eventually just gets stabbed and then he gets kidnapped and then somehow he sends you this, this mail and he tells you that he needs help in C3. You go talk to this captain and he takes you to the third C where the final stage of grinding begins. Rectoy told me that this C would be the hardest one and you are going to want some friends to help you with some of the bosses and I didn't believe him. So as you can see here, I was going solo. I already jumped 60 levels from the last clip and I was actually able to defeat Stone, which is the first boss in the C pretty easy. And I was like, you know what, bro? Rectoy doesn't know what he's talking about. Like I got this. Maybe it was hard for him because he's a noob, but I definitely got this. So I was grinding Stone here and I killed him pretty easy and you know i already got 65 levels down but then i did start noticing what he was talking about once i was about 100 levels later into the game i had to fight some other bosses just like this one right here the island empress and i started realizing how difficult the bosses jumped up the pay to win didn't even help anymore bro these things were starting to whip me as you can see here the island empress was getting me pretty low on health it was just i was starting to like freak out bro i was like why how is he right dude how did he know that this was going to happen and i was going to start dying i didn't believe him. And as you can see, I died to the Island Empress. Then I fought Captain Elephant and I did die to him. It doesn't show it in this clip, but I did die to him before. And he did get me to a thousand health on this fight. And things were just getting, getting stressful, bro. These two bosses I was able to take care of pretty easily. However, once we got to the beautiful pirate, as you can see here, I, this was such a struggle. I was getting whooped. I was getting destroyed. I knew that Rectoy was right at this point and I knew I needed help, bro. This was the third attempt of me fighting beautiful pirate. Got to the second phase and just died. So I asked my boy Rectway to hop on and he did hop on and he helped me fight the beautiful pirate and grind the beautiful pirate until I reached level 2000. So thank you Rectway again. Once I did get to level 1975, bro, I will say another one of my favorite islands on this grind of the third sea had to have been this undead haunted island or whatever it was called. I can't even remember, bro. My, my brain is so shot at this point, but I liked the killing the reborn skeletons, bro. They're all just kind of lined up nicely and made getting to level 2000 pretty fun and pretty simple because I didn't have to think much about it. They're all pretty close together. I didn't have to run very far and they're pretty easy kills. And finally, after killing quite a bit of these skeletons, I finally hit level 2000 and I was feeling pretty good, man. As you can see here, the timer says about eight hours and 51 minutes left, which means at this point of grinding, I was grinding for about 15 or so hours, man. So finally, we made it to the lands of the candy people and the ice cream and the bakers and all the weird stuff. And these ones took me quite a bit because the enemies, the NPCs were actually getting quite difficult. They were actually taking a lot longer to kill. They were also spawning in a lot slower than previous islands, and they were a lot more separated than previous islands. So I was starting to get discouraged again, but I just kept going. Eventually, I killed a bunch of candy people and told them to eat healthy foods, and we then fought the Cake Queen. Needed Rectoy's help again because I could not fight this boss by myself because I'm absolute garbage still, and I don't have good enough tools. As you can see, as I'm fighting the Cake Queen, I actually died, and and I was getting whooped by the cake queen quite a bit. But after we finally defeated the cake queen, who I realized later is pretty much the final boss of this game, I continued to kill more cake related people. I killed lots of bakers. And finally, I saw the final island, which would get me to the max level of 2,450. As you can see here, I was at level 2,400 and I only had 50 levels to go on this final candy island. And we headed over there, man. We headed over there. We started killing these candy pirates and these were actually not that bad to kill because they spawn in pretty quick and they were pretty close to each other and i was hyped at this point dude this was the final stretch this was the final straw and at this point i didn't know if it was worth doing all this because i've been sitting here for about 19 hours at this point just playing this game to get to the max level and after i killed the candy pirates i started killing a bunch of these snow demons the final stretch as you can see i finally got to level 2445 now this would be my final quest to get me to level 2400 
448, which means after that, that's actually the pre-final quest because I need one more final quest to hit max level. I was so exhausted at this point, but I was so hyped for everything to finally be worth it and to finally be over for this grind until the next major update. But I had some fun doing this. I just, again, major arthritis and major eye strain. But after I killed these guys, we got to level 2,448. And now it is time to finally reach our goal of the max level in Roblox Blocks Fruits. So now that you know my entire journey through this game, I just want to let you guys know that after I kill the snow demon, that's only the beginning of my journey. I actually do want to make some content on this game because it just seems like a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun grinding, even though it's very tedious, but now I can do the fun stuff like awakening fruits, awakening abilities, mastering everything, and PVPing and doing all the fun stuff. So if you guys are interested, subscribe, and we'll go through this journey together as I start making some Roblox Box Fruits content. But let's go ahead and, uh, and kill this last snow demon here. The final moment that I've been waiting for, that I've been building up for, that I've been grinding for, for the last two to three-ish days, we're finally here, and it's finally time to kill the last snow demon and hit the current max level in the game. And just like that, snow demon is dead quest is complete and we have reached the max level in roblox blocks fruits boys the grind has been insane hopefully you enjoyed my beginning journey in roblox blocks fruits see you guys in the next one